Hello, all you beautiful people out there. My name is Emmanuel, and welcome to the building part of the Endgame Money Guide. I hope you will enjoy it. The main area will be 14 times 46. 10 parking lots facing each other like this. And on the other end, use electric parking lots like this. For the main store area, we're going to move one, two, three, four tiles in. And then we're going to drag across the entire field like this. This is our store area. We can move on and go into decoration. We're going to build one fountain in the middle right here. And then one fountain in each corner. So the store will have great decoration. Now, moving on, we can start by placing different shelves. I'm just going to put some uh, small furniture shelves, just like I do right here. And we're going to put these large plots like this. Finance rep desks. So we're going to put one finance rep on each side like this. And the entrances will go right here. One in from the fountain, four in the middle, like this. So this will be our entrances. We'll also put uh, down some walls. I like doing glasses because glass looks beautiful. It's really nice to like look through. It's very clean. It's clear. And since we're going to put out uh, elevators here, we're just going to tap in the mm, one tile glass right this. For the elevator, I think we're going to make it face out like this on each side. Feel free to not use the elevators if you want. It makes the layout a lot more expensive. It's after all uh, 120k more just using elevators. And if you're going to use stairs, I suggest just putting them down just where the elevator wears. So in this situation, I could I would put them like this, for example. So you walk in just as if it was an elevator. But before we move on to the next floor, we need to just finish this floor. We need to add some security. I like just dragging four gates and that's why I love these doors because you can drag the gates through the doors and because of that the decoration will be terrible around these areas so customers will will complain so usually what I do in that case I just drag plants on top meaning you will have two plants on each side of the gates and you're going to neutralize the negative effect the decoration or the gates will have on decoration so this is the first floor and moving on to the second floor this one is a bit more difficult. I realized I had put the elevators uh, incorrectly in the on the second floor, uh, but they're going to face inwards like this. And uh, this makes it so customers will walk out as if it was from the other floor. So we can make the both of both floors entirely symmetrical. So I'm gonna throw in the floor just like the other one, remove the decoration filter. And I'm going to add six tiles on each side here in order to make customers be able to walk into the store. And naturally, just like the staircases, we want security. So we're just going to throw in security. I, this layout does not use any cameras at all. You don't use cameras. The reason for to why I don't use cameras is generally because it works with gates. It, it won't have any robberies by, by placing gates anyways and placing plants on each side, as you remember. Uh, because cameras are generally... They work better for smaller stores, in my opinion, or... Uh, I don't like to stress with like cameras and stuff. I also want, in order to like make the crowdness a little bit better, because people will like kind of walk through the gate, so I'm gonna, just going to drag a little bit of a, uh, a wall right here, so they will walk out, like around the corner, instead of just crossing like this. Find the window tab. So we're going to need a double there on each side. A triple on each side here. And the rest will be the quadruple glass. And just like the other layouts, we're going to mimic the first floor. It's going to be completely similar like this. Same goes for shelves. Like that. And we're also going to add two finance rep desks so these are both floors but in order for them to work we kind of need um, trash cans so i'm going to throw in a couple of trash cans right here 
and looking at cleanliness, it covers everything. The two tiles over here, they won't be necessary. I don't think people will walk on them. But just in case, we can also just put two trash cans right in front of the final strips. Just in case people would throw trash there. And for the sa same for the first floor. And we are covered. Okay, so we have a really good looking layout now. It looks very well. We're almost done here. But we need to finish the outdoor area. Outside, you'll put the self checkouts on like the wall here. Or well, the glass, I mean. So the customers can walk there and sell. We don't want checkouts inside the store because then so customers would actually have to walk towards the checkout inside the store. So they would maybe make it more crowded. That's why I put the checkouts outside instead. And I also put out the mobility scooters on each side like this. As for these small uh, shopping baskets, I'm just going to throw them like this and we are good to go. You don't need shopping carts for this type of store, but if you wouldn't need shopping carts, so an example of how you can implement these carts would generally just be to, for example, put them on the side here. You could technically also, in another way, you can move the finance rep desk after the finance rep has sat down. You can move the desk and you can throw in the carts like right here. Now. The finance rep won't be able to move, but you'll still have the carts. So, uh, but it's a very difficult way of doing it. So I wouldn't suggest doing it. As for the outdoor area, we're gonna need a couple of trash cans here as well. Thought of putting one, two like this, and also two like this. This is now our cleanliness, no problem. As for decoration, it looks beautiful. It's just as we want it. People won't complain about decoration on parking lots because those are parking lots. They don't complain about that. The only places they would complain is the uh, normal tiles they're walking on. Meaning, for example, the grass over here. So if they, for some reason, start walking over here, they'll start com complaining about decoration because there's no decoration here. When their stock is sold out, they don't know where to walk. They don't know what to buy. They'll just walk around randomly and they're going to give you really bad decoration and shelter as well for that sake so just make sure to keep the stock uh, keep the store stocked at all times which won't be any problem and you won't struggle with any decoration or shelter now just to finish what we've now done i just like to add ledges around everything just because it boosts shelter and it also makes sure that customers won't be walking outside of the store and just for practical uh, practical scenario i'll just delete these two for the um, workers to walk through once you open your store and on this side we're gonna end by putting a trash can yeah let's put two flower beds beside like this technically we can do it on the other side as well but um we're gonna have a tram station there later so we're just not gonna do it right now so this is the store this is everything we need we can now add a ceiling on top of everything so we're just gonna take one two out and we're gonna slice everything above here and voila this is a cheaper layout. This one costs six hundred thousand dollars. It's go it can go down to five hundred k if you actually just um, use staircases instead of elevators. But that's all up to you, of course. But of course, we need a couple more things because we haven't gotten a manager yet, right? So. What I thought of doing is by is just adding two manager desks on the side like that. And there we go. That's basically it. Also, I like adding uh, storage. So uh, wherever customers aren't walking, you can put storage. So for example, over here, you can put a couple of storage uh, boxes. I'll delete these. So now we're going to have how much storage? 5,000. Uh, for me, the most practical example would be having enough storage for 6,000 and that should be good enough. If you want more, feel free, but I just use 6,000 throwing it over there. And decoration doesn't bother anyone over here, they aren't walking here, so it doesn't matter. So, for the workers, that's important to know. For this type of store, it's uh, quite large, so it's important to have restockers. So three restockers should do you well. One thing that's really important to know is that having fewer workers is a lot better than having a lot. You remember that workers also cost a lot of money to like keep up. 
and pay for. So make sure to have as few workers as possible. And I've spent a lot of time perfecting uh, the amount of workers on this store. And if in any case workers would start doing odd things, uh, in that case, I think you should just swap to a private server or something because workers can also bug out. As for janitors, two works totally fine. You could add three if you see that they are struggling. But once you get into level four, so they shouldn't struggle at all. As for managers, I use two because once this store is opened with bus station and tram station, there are so many uh, workers who buy items, um, making the man one manager too ineffective in order to buy in, in enough items. So you need two managers in order to actually buy enough items to supply the store. Because one manager has like a limit of how much, how fast you can buy items, if that makes sense. As for guards, two, perfectly fine. Never had a robbery at all, so no problem. As for delivery drivers, I only use one. And that delivery driver is a cargo helicopter. That's 5,000 a minute, perfectly fine. I tried it out with a cargo airship, but that one actually didn't work. The cargo airship is actually really bad. If you can't afford a cargo helicopter, you could rather just uh, use instant delivery in the beginning, once you get 400k for the cargo helicopter and just buy the helicopter. The helicopter will serve you well to the rest of your life. Pretty much. It's a bit empty in here. We need to stock and we also need to get some lighting up here. So let's just throw some lighting. As for lights, you can just go right here, drag across, Add a couple of lights on each elevator area. And if you want light across like the outdoor area, you can just drag like this till you find each corner. And like here. You can also add one in the middle there for more looks. Now it will look beautiful on the inside and beautiful on the outside. For lights for this first floor, I like just putting a, since we have this outdoor area thing, I like putting just a light right here like in front of the doors just like the first floor we drag across there we go that's it for lights all right so let's stock the shelves it doesn't really matter where you stock the different items i like to have it to look like somewhat clean all right it's now fully stocked and it's ready to open 600k 650k for this layout and this layout will earn you lots you now have 20 different parking lots 10 of them electric so it'll count as like 25 normal parking lots it's going to earn you lots but the whole point of this layout is that it has potential for expansion and for expansion expansion i like to just add a couple of bus stations and i put them on this side and then we also need place we need airy tiles for the customers to walk on so we're gonna just drag across like this and of course, we need to delete these and we need to add some more edge pieces. Feel free to add like asphalt and design as much as you want, but I just make it a bit simple. It works totally fine for me at least. Of course, we do it on each side. There we go. So instead of 700k now, it's more like 1.7 million. We could also go to the top floor and add a helicopter landing pad and a helicopter because it will make the store earn even more money. I also just like to add edge pieces on the top because it, in my opinion, it looks a little bit cooler. It gives the ceiling more depth. So all right, let's assign the helicopter to our delivery driver and we now have a helicopter as well. Beautiful. Now the only last upgrade you can get to this store, it is to add the tram station. I personally like putting it right here. So I'll just move the manager. And there we go. We now have the tram station. Just for a little bit more looks. And we're gonna close it with these shelves. So ideally, you will have some decoration here. So you're just gonna add this cut beautiful, this cute uh, two uh, flowers and just some plants back here. And I think they're gonna be happy. It's for the manager when you just move it so it has space. The layout is completely finished. We have now built a beautiful looking layout. You can, you can design it as much as you want. It's not meant for beautiful design, it's meant for efficiency. So 
This layout should earn you about 350k net earnings per hour without any monetaries, meaning you'll earn from 7 to 8 million in one in 24 hours. Here are two photos of the layout from above. The only thing now is to just open the store and you will earn lots of money. I hope you found this video quite helpful. You generally just need to build a decent layout and you can stick to it as much as you want. Comment down below for the algorithm, it helps me a lot. Click like on the video, subscribe to the channel, it's really great. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.